Hi, I'm Jim from Erie Ordnance Depot and today I'm going to give a brief overview of the cleaning kit uh, from Kalashnikov. First we want to do is we want to remove the magazine. We'll flip the selector down to the fire safe posi or fire position and we'll check the action while keeping everything pointing in a safe direction. Make sure that everything is empty. Uh, we'll press the recoil assembly button forward, roll the top cover off, remove the recoil assembly, remove the bolt and carrier. Now we'll rotate the bolt out and forward. Now the bolt carrier is also kind of handy as a, a tool to operate the lever. The slot that the bolt carrier rides can be used if you have a pretty tight lever that retains your uh, gas tube. If you remove the gas tube that will give us access to the uh, gas port to ensure that it's clean and free of obstruction. We'll remove our cleaning rod and then I like to use a pen to retrieve our cleaning kit. That way you don't get your fingers stuck in there. It'd be awfully silly if you got your fingers stuck in there. You imagine showing up at the hospital with a Kalashnikov on your hand. Uh, and you remove the contents of the cleaning kit. And the first thing you want to do is take your pick. There's a little pointy piece. Uh, make sure that the gas piston or the gas port is free of obstructions. Once we've done that, we'll take the uh, housing of our uh, cleaning kit and our cleaning rod and find the large hole, take the thread end of your cleaning rod and shove it through the large hole and pass it, continue to pass it through until it becomes a swiveling handle. Now take the cap to the housing and we'll use it for a guide. That guide works on slant brakes like this, 74 brakes like this, or 74 style flash hiders. So it's useful for all of those. That guide helps prevent undue wear from the cleaning rod going back and forth. So we we'll probably start with a brush, put a brush on, and install it, operate it. Now the only U.S. made slant brake that has the slot in the bottom that I'm aware of is the AK Builder slant brake, and it is best used when you're working uh, with the guide. Uh, it's really difficult for the other brakes go on and off. That's what the slot's for is so you get the uh, uh, guide on and off. Now you've got a loop and patch. Uh, you can go through and you can swap the bore with the loop and patch. And then we have the ability to use the thing as a jag as well by wrapping a patch around the outside of it. done that. The, uh, if you get your jag tight, really tight, you can loosen it up or tighten it with the little notch in the combination tool. It's pretty handy for that use. Uh, and we'll disassemble all this. We'll put the cleaning rod back. Now, the body or housing of the cleaning kit can also be used as a carbon scraper on the gas piston as well as to clean out the grooves in the gas piston and carbon. Uh, another old trick I've heard is guys to say that uh, they could take a handful of sand or dirt and compress it around the piston and turn it and then brush it clean. Uh, I suppose that would work. Uh, we want to reinstall the gas tube now. So we'll do that, make sure that it finds its detent. Um, here we have our uh, bolt carrier assembly. 
what we want to do is take our bolt and drop it into that assembly and find the lug that has the hole and pin in it, the only one that has a pin in it. Make that point up and rotate towards the charging handle and invert it. Let it go down. Keeping the muzzle pointed down because gravity helps us here. Insert the piston into the gas tube. Push it down and in place. And you need to reinstall the recoil assembly and the top cover. Now, we've got a cleaning kit, and our combination tool still has some functions. The combination tool can be used as a screwdriver by installing it into the housing of the cleaning kit. Uh, the screwdriver is kind of useful with Kalashnikov because you can tighten pistol grip screw, sling swivel screws, you can tighten butt stock or butt plate screws or butt stock tang screws. And the alternate use, the other end of it, if it's inverted and put into the housing tool, it is a elevation tool. So this little guy has a multitude of uses. I usually reinsert the combo tool first, the brush, the jag, and then the pick and put the whole package back together and insert it in the gun cap first. Well thank you. I hope you learned something and have a great day.